family. Namaste and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Well, you know, we are uh, home homebound, locked in, COVID-19, it's here. And there's always something uh, uh, positive in every negative. And the positive is that we are together. So I hope that we're going to be together for the next few weeks. I plan to release a uh, little clip like this twice a week. So one on Sunday for uh, Sunday afternoon yoga. And then you could perhaps use that clip again and the next one would be on Wednesday. So here we go. Uh, the yoga that we are going to be doing will be largely uh, what we've done together in class or uh, what you've done at your studio or even you know from following others on the net. However, I am going to introduce a little bit of restorative, a little bit of mind-body connection because I think we really do need that in this time. So, um, big warm welcome to all of you. And uh, before we start, I hope you have something, should you need it, uh, a block or even a hard firm book to give you extra height. A strap, it could be a belt, it could be a scarf, it could be anything like that. And then uh, finally, if you have a little blanket or a, a, a scarf towards the end when we're needing, needing that in Shavasana. Okay, so we're going to start. Um, find yourself on it. Oh yes, and one more thing you could do with a little cushion. So find yourself on the cushion in the center of the mat. We are going to be together for the next half an hour at least. Find yourself on the center of the mat, cross your legs, bring your hands onto your knees. And we're just going to sit silently for a few seconds. Eyes closed. Nice deep inhale and exhale through the nostrils. Gently place the palms together. And as you exhale, consciously exhale all the negativity, the tension, the stress. Inhale positivity, hope, and happiness. Maybe at this point in time you want to set an intention or an affirmation or just a positive thought to yourself. Hope, joy. Peace. Inhale and exhale. Namaste. So here we go for the next half an hour. We're going to start as we usually do in all our classes, starting with a bit of a warm up. So draw your shoulders up to your ears, down your back, and continue like that for a few rounds. Being sure to draw in your abdomen and to lengthen your spine. Reverse the direction. And by now I hope at least there's more than one of you who, who are in the room together or members of the family. Sometimes it's even the pets that are joining us. So yeah, everyone can benefit. Inhale, exhale, extend your arms to the horizontal. Try to bring it to the horizontal elbows wrist shoulder in line fingers extended inhale extend your hands to the sky as you exhale join the hands together and stretch a little bit higher draw the chin in become aware of your ribs draw your ribs your lower ribs in exhale turn to the side bring the knees down bring the opposite hand onto the knee and glance towards the back shoulder Exhale, bring your hands back to the front, extend your hands to the vertical this time, to the forward this time, and then clasp your hands so that the other fingers at the bottom going once ago, once more to the vertical. Really stretch those wrists out, reaching the hands up, and tuck the, the chin in a little bit. Exhale, releasing your hands down, one behind the back, one in front of the knee, and glance over your back shoulder. If you're outside, maybe you're catching a glimpse of the lovely nature around us. It's like breeze coming up. Exhale, bring both hands back to center. And you are sitting facing the front of your mat. I'm going to be asking us to just extend the legs out a little bit. 
come up onto your seat and then down again inhale exhale lean over one leg and fall forward soften at that point if you're not quite reaching the bottom maybe you want to use a block to give you some height exhale raise up your hands and then slightly turn to the other side using the block if you need otherwise folding down hinging at the hips lengthening across your back inhale raise up the hands again draw your feet in and then you're going to place your hands onto the mat maybe get rid of the, the cushion and we're going to come into the spinal warm-up right now getting ready for your cat cow series so before we start settle the toes toes and feet in line with the knees and the knee in line with the wrist fingers spread shoulders directly above the wrist exhale drop your head spread your shoulder blades apart draw in your abdomen and just relax here for a few seconds your cat stretch inhale Send your heart forward, raise your gaze, drop your spine, but draw in your abdomen. And then go back into cat stretch. And once again into calf stretch. Maybe the toes are a bit more comfortable and tucked in. Wherever you are comfortable. And on your last one, toes together, knees apart. Settle your buttocks down to the heels and then take to the mat and just relax. Your Supta Virasana, reclined hero. Hands are coming around towards the heels. Inhale, extend the hands forward once again. Preparing yourself for a balance. You're going to bring the knees back in line and then step your toes out. Drop your hips you into a supported plank. Elbow plank. Remembering to draw up the abdomen. If you glance down, you can see a straight line. Heels are moving out, shoulders away from the ears, elbows in line with shoulders, and you're holding steady. Inhale, exhale, come forward slightly, and then bring your hands slightly forward, maybe off the mat, you're working into a bit of a seal stretch here, a modification of your Bhujangasana or your Cobra pose. And we're just going to settle for a few seconds. Gazing slightly ahead. And then tuck your chin in a bit. Look down on the mat. We don't realize it, but the ants are carrying on. The wind is blowing. Everything is carrying on as per normal. inhale bring your hands slightly closer and then take that opportunity to bring yourself into bhujangasana onto your knees and then back into that virasana inhale and exhale tuck your toes raise your knees off the mat and push back into your first downward facing dog coming high up onto the toes raising the hips up to the ceiling drawing in the abdomen and drawing down the head inhale as you exhale release one foot and then the next to the mat keep the hands straight keep the weight even on both the palms inhale and exhale exhale we're going to make our way to the front of the mat so option to, to bend your knees spring forward or step forward when you reach the front of the mat slight bend in the knees and forward fold Gently grabbing hold of your elbows, pulling yourself a little bit further down towards the ground. Adding a bit of movement. Gently weave your elbows in and out, all the while reaching those hips higher to the ceiling and allowing the head to relax. Exhale. Keep the hands holding the elbows. Bring your elbow in line with your shoulder and sit back. 
relax, it's Sunday after all. Extending your arms into your Utkatasana, hands slightly forward or if you wish, hands could go up. You could take a higher chair but please stay seated. Inhale, exhale, come up. Urva Hastasana, hands raised to the ceiling. So here, you know, this is a classic picture, you're staying on the front of your mat. Classic picture of surrender, maybe the moment is calling us to surrender. Raising up our hands and bringing our hands down for a moment to the side. We're going to go from here into a small warm-up sequence of Surya Namaskar. So standing at the front of the mat, inhale, raise the hands up, push the hips forward. Exhale, open up your arms and lean back. Inhale, draw the abdomen in and fold forward, head to knee. Looking past your knees and then bringing the weight slightly onto your toes. Exhale, bring your hands onto your shins and flatten your back. Nice, inhale and exhale. Release the hands to the mat, bend the knees, raise up onto your right, raise up your right leg, stretch the leg right back and hold. Bringing the knee down, raising up into your supported lunge. Lean back. Note the opening of the hip that's going behind you, the hip flexor of the back leg. Bring both hands down, take the front leg back and hold in plank. Of course, you could bring the knees down if it's too much for you to hold. Push back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, rate. bring yourself back to forward and then bring the knees down, hug your elbows in, slide your chest forward and slowly come down onto the mat. Release the toes. Hugging elbows in, push up into Bhujang Asana. Cobra pose, dropping shoulders away from ears, tucking the chin slightly in. Tuck up and Adho Mukha Inhale, weight on the left leg, raise up your right leg, straighten both arms, bend the knee and then step your leg in or sweep the leg in to the front. All three limbs in one level, drop the back leg, raise up the opposite arm. Exhale, slowly bring the leg forward, halfway and then a full forward fold. Exhale, palms together, slowly bring yourself up. Inhale, we're going for the left hand side, lean back, open up your arms. Exhale, forward, forward, guys. If your head needs some release, slight left and right movement or forward and back movement. And then we're going to place the hands onto the shins, flatten your back, reaching your hips away from your shoulders. Exhale, both hands on the mat, raise up your left leg this time, take the leg right back, holding that lunge for a moment before you put down and raise up. Exhale, take the right leg back, you're back into plank. How are you doing? Hope you're still with me and hope others have joined in as well. We're going to bring ourselves down to the mat. So option of course to take the knees and then to go down or if you're feeling strong, hug the elbows in hover and then bring yourself down onto your mat. Releasing toes, coming up, one more Bhujangasana. Hugging the elbows in towards the body. And then coming back into plank, pushing back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. <laughs> Inhale, raise up that left leg. Exhale, draw it in towards chest, bring it forward. Release the back leg, raise up the front hands. 
exhale, hands on the mat, raise the back leg, bring the back leg forward, halfway lift, full forward fold, palms together, and we're back to standing. So, you should be nice and warmed up now, and we're going to be going into the standing series. To start off with, just to give us a bit of variation, if you have a support behind you or nearby and you need it, use it as we come into tree pose. A chair could also do very well. So for the chair tree pose, we're going to start on each side, uh, drawing up the ankle, drawing up the foot against the ankle and working the knee out to the side. Slowly bring your hands together and there's your tree, rickshaws. All trees start from the ground. You can bring your tree up, grow it a little bit more. If you're feeling stronger, you can bring your foot onto your thigh. Try and get it as high up, away from your knee as possible. And then finally finishing with the hands up, abdomen in, arms extended, toes gripping thigh. Inhale and exhale. So staying where you are, I'm just going to turn to the side to show you a variation. We're going to be moving from tree pose into another posture. So bring your leg forward and then take that folded leg and place it on the straight leg. You're settling down into this posture, trying to open up the hip of the folded leg. Hands in namaskar or elbows pressing down onto ankle and knee. Lengthen your back. Inhale and exhale. Hands can go down to the mat and then slowly release the legs. Grab hold of your elbows and recline. Uttanasana. Inhale, bend those knees. Work both the feet together and bring your elbows in line with your shoulders. Extend your arms. One more Utkatasana, chair pose. Doing any modification, maybe the pelvis needs a little tilt forward. Raise up the arms and come back up to standing. Going for Rikshasana on the other side, working the ankle against, working the foot against the ankle, working the knee out in line with the hip. And then drawing up your foot onto your shin. Staying here or even going up to the thigh. Finding your breath, finding your stillness. Inhale and exhale. My wish is that whatever you desire, whatever fruits are due for you in life, mature and land with you. Exhale. And we're going on to the other side of that posture, reaching the leg forward. Bending the standing knee slightly and then leaning forward, staying here, working into that hip or even bringing elbows onto ankle and knee. Releasing the hands down if we can. No problem if we can extend our arms by using blocks. Exhale, release the hands onto the mat and then one more Uttanasana. This time grabbing the elbows, grabbing the heels, ankles, turning the elbows to side and leaning forward. Inhale, halfway lift, hands together and slowly walk yourself to the front of the mat. We're now going to be stepping out into the length of the mat. So find yourself along the back edge of the mat nice and long and hands on the hips, tilt the pelvis up, drop the shoulders down. You can even take your hands behind your back, grab hold of your elbows, turning your right leg out, tilt the left hip up, drop the shoulder down, reach the hand down to the ground, reach the vertical hand up, you're into Trikonasana. Once again, use blocks to add length to your hands if your hands are not reaching the ground. We're going to hold here for a few moments. Drawing in the abdomen, opening up the chest, bringing both shoulders in line. If the top hand is too much, you can put the hand onto the hip, 
keep working the shoulder back inhale turn the back foot to face the front foot grab both hands behind raise your gaze lean forward over the straight leg exhale bring both hands down onto the mat both feet are facing forward leave your inside hand onto the mat raise up the opposite hand onto the hip and then to the sky your reverse triangle trikonasana so i'm going to, just going to be turning staying this way for you please don't mind me not looking at you at this time exhale both hands onto the mat and then staying with that leg facing forward wide apart bring your hands together bend the front leg raise up your hands into warrior one virabhadrasana one adjusting your bottom trunk your hips your shoulders more or less in one line exhale hands to heart center lean forward walk the back leg in raise up your back foot extend your arms Virabhadrasana tree three exhale drop the back leg down bring your hands once again behind your back take the strength of the length of the mat and adjust your your trunk in the middle of the mat bend the front leg preparing for warrior two virabhadrasana two holding here the work is in the thigh exhale drop the back hand raise the front hand inhale exhale turning over the back hand reaching over into Paswakonasana or going for the hand, the front hand down onto the block or even the ground. Holding for a few more moments. Exhale, hand onto the hip. Bring both hands down, bring the back leg down. Come up and lean over that bent knee. Exhale. Bring the hands onto the mat. Take the front leg, back leg forward and forward, forward. Inhale. Slowly come back into Tadasana. Exhale, step out. We're back in the center of the mat. This time we're going to level out the opposite leg. Your left leg, my right leg. We're mirroring each other. Hands behind the back. Leaning the shoulder down reaching the hand down. You may find this side is not as accessible as the other side. That's where the blocks come in use. And reach up your hand. Gazing to the sky or into your room. Exhale, bring both hands down onto the mat. And then the inside hand stays on the mat or the block, whichever it is you are using, and raising up the opposite hand, twisting across the waist. Inhale, exhale, bring both hands down, bring both feet to line forward, bring the hands behind the back, and forward fold. At any time in the class, if you find the full range is not accessible, a slight bend in the knee is perfectly all right. Inhale. Hands to the chest. Step back with that back leg. Bend the front leg. Add your arms up. Virabhadrasana 1. I've got an audience. I see some monkeys in the trees. I hope they, they approve here. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to chest. Lean forward. Walk your back leg in. Slowly raise up the back leg, flex your foot, trying to keep both hips in line and extend your arms. Exhale, we're dropping down the back leg, finding the space, settling the trunk between the legs, front leg bent, opening up your arms. Virabhadrasana 2. Inhale. Exhale, your peaceful warrior. This is who we are right now, peaceful warriors. Peacefully at home, peacefully fighting this war. Inhale, exhale. 
and then bringing your hand down onto the mat or to the ground, coming off, up with the top hand across into Parsvakonasana. Of course, you could take your hand to the thigh, the bottom hand could be on the block. Exhale, take the back leg down onto the mat, raise your trunk up. Nice deep inhale, raise up your arms. Exhale, lean forward, take that elbow across the knee and twist away. Exhale, you're on the mat, we're going to be taking a seat. So if your knee allows, you could bring a cushion behind you and sit back. If that doesn't allow the folded leg, no problem if you extend the leg. Both legs could be straight. Inhale, draw in the abdomen and hold. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. You're going to shift your weight onto the other foot. Folding back the other leg if you had the first leg folded. Settling both the knees more or less in line. Hips and shoulders once again. We're all about alignment. Inhale. Maybe if you have a block, something to help you with alignment of your arms. Exhale. Keep your hands alongside your ears. And slowly fold. As far as you can go. And then recline your hip. Inhale, slowly extending both the legs and we started off our class with a seated posture Dandasana, we're back in Dandasana, sitting up like a nice L shape, abdomen drawn in, hands facing forward, fingers slightly behind you and from here we're going to go into an arm balance. You're going to go into reverse tabletop. So settling your feet and pressing into your hands, pressing into your feet, raising up the hips, leaning back, reverse tabletop. Hold for a few seconds. Find the opening of your shoulders. Exhale, bring yourself back down onto the mat. So we're going to go for five of this, just bringing in some movement and some aerobic activities. You can bring yourself back to rest on the mat or you could borrow from other postures where we lean back, resting on the arms. Inhale up, exhale, hover. Going at your own pace. And then seated on the mat for a moment. Bringing yourself with your hands underneath your thighs, preparing for Navasana. So how's the energy? Feeling nice and warm, I guess. I am. Hands can stay alongside you here underneath, supporting you, or you could extend. If you have a strap, a strap also helps for support. Drawing in the ab. Exhale and slowly release. We are now going on to a little bit of a slower part of the class. We're going into twists and back bends. So I'd like you to rise up your right leg, my left leg, your right leg. Inhale, sit with arms across your shin, spine upright. Nice, inhale and exhale. Release the foot down to the mat. Maybe you can use the block if your foot doesn't quite reach. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Once again, straps could be useful. They did say tighten up the belt. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly release. 
taking up the left leg. You're going to be taking the leg across the foot and wrapping the opposite hand around from the inside of the knee and stretching back. Spine nice and tall, twisting across your waist. Inhale. To deepen that, we may bring the elbow in front and twist a little bit deeper. Exhale, slowly release. So staying with this leg that's folded, take the foot into the opposite elbow and slowly open up the hip. A little bit of baby rocking. Rock the baby. It actually works the hip. Exhale, slowly releasing the leg, straightening out the leg. And if people have a problem with the hip, I know one or two of us do, don't go into such a wide, deep hip opener. Opposite leg coming up, sitting around with the legs wrapped, hands wrapped around the shin. Exhale, you're bringing the foot down against the thigh, bringing the knee down to the ground, using whatever prop you may have to shorten the distance. Inhale, turning slightly to the leg and then folding forward. Raise up the leg, place it over the straight leg, opposite hand going around, and here we twist once again. Inhale, we may take the, the, the free hand, bring it on the outside of that knee, bend the knee, bend the elbow, and deepen your twist. Exhale, slowly release. So here we are once again taking that foot into the elbow crease and working that hip by rocking your baby. If you do have babies, I hope you're finding time to bond. We're missing our little baby who's far away from us, but lots of love, best wishes to all babies. Exhale. That front leg that's there, I want you to bend the leg. We're moving from here into pigeon. So take that front leg, Position it so that, okay, so I'm going to swap here. Position the front leg so that it's against the front edge of your mat. The back leg can be straight against the long length of the mat. And then from here, you're going to be positioning yourself so that you're folding over the front leg, a modification of your pigeon. If you're finding that way too awkward, you may straighten the back leg. Maybe the front shin works down a bit and then come forward. I'm going to invite us to just stay a little bit longer in this posture. Forward folds are relaxing. They're calming. So you could use your arms if you have the cushion. Settle your head and just relax here for a few moments. Inhale, bring yourself up to the vertical, tuck the back toes, raise the back knee, take the front knee off, take the front knee back, you're back into downward dog. Speaking of dog, let's see my one's just walking past. Inhale, raise up your opposite leg and then bring that leg forward, positioning it across the front of the mat, the back leg straight or if you prefer bent behind you. Taking time to position the shoulders and the hips in line, forming a nice box with those two, four major joints. Bending the elbows in, lowering the trunk, coming down to rest. Slowly 
inhale, straightening your arms, tucking the back toes, raising yourself up back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale onto your toes, taking one more plank and then bringing your knees onto the mat, toes together, knees apart, settling back into Supta Virasana. Allowing the chest, the heart chakra to reach down towards the mat using a cushion if you're finding that not so accessible. Turning your head to the other side. Inhale. And from here, maybe bringing the knees back more or less in line with each other. Coming back into tabletop and then we're going to be going into thread, your knee, thread the needle, taking the one hand to the side, looping it through and bringing the shoulder down, the temple down, reaching the other hand forward and just staying here for a few moments. Finding nice release of the lower back, a nice stretch across the shoulder blades, nice big inhale, relax. Exhale, draw the hands in. One more recline. Sliding the opposite hand through. Inhale. And before we go on to our last few postures, one more cat-cow series, drawing up the spine, drawing up the abdomen, stretch the shoulder blades across, and then inhale into your cow stretch. One more cat stretch. And inhale. As you come out of that, come back to sit. We're in the middle of the mat. We're going to be preparing for some back bends. So I would like if you have your block, have it nearby. You're going to rest onto your elbows and come down onto your back. Moving the hair away if need be and making sure that everything is clear around you. Inhale, draw both knees up to your chest and just rock from side to side. Starting to smooth your eye, your eyebrows, smooth your forehead, soften the jaw, maybe even closing your eyes. Inhale, settling onto the back, keep the right leg bent, extend your left leg. See how far that bottom leg can go, how close the knee, the back of the knee can come to the ground. Keep drawing in the abdomen. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly raise up, bring your nose, try and touch the knee. No problem if it doesn't, we're going in that direction. Exhale, back down. Inhale, exhale. And we're back down again. Swapping legs. Nice big inhale, draw the knee in a little bit further, flexing both the feet. Exhale. And one more. Exhale. Release both legs. Back should be feeling nice and loosened up. Drop both knees from left to right. And then I want you to place both your feet down as close as you can towards your body. Hands reaching past your ankles. Of course, feet, knees, hips in one ant line. Inhale. Block should be handy. We're all going for a supported bridge. Draw in the abdomen. Press into the heels. And just raise your trunk off halfway. Keep drawing in the abdomen. We're finding attention to the lower part of the body, the area below the navel. Your sacral chakra is here, a source of security, groundedness, 
right now we are feeling a bit ungrounded so we're bringing awareness as you slowly rise your hips up towards the sky keep drawing in your navel towards the spine keep pressing the heels down you start feeling the glutes engaging you're coming up onto your shoulders inhale as you exhale chin the awareness around your pelvic area and slowly come back halfway and now we slowly return relax inhale once again rising up with control chest chin is coming towards the chest you're working into the lower back and back down again with control for your last one if you don't have a block continue the way we've done for the first two otherwise we're going to slowly support the back with the block and we're going to hold staying in the supported bridge for a little bit longer and finding your stillness no matter what is going on around you right now we've been called upon to do that find the peace within us inhale slowly drawing in your abdomen raise your hips a little bit further off the block removing the block and we return to the ground inhale draw your knees up to the chest rock from side to side and we're going to slowly raise up the legs coming into v parita karani your legs up an invisible wall ankles knees hips all against this wall and then you can extend your hands to the side you could even bend your elbows up exhale draw the knees in and then just bring both knees over to one side keep shoulders on the mat exhale opposite side Pressing into the arms, come back to center. Straighten out the legs, draw the right leg in once again. And this time place the foot onto the knee and stretch across. Exhale, opposite leg in. Heel onto the straight knee and twist. Keeping both shoulders down on the mat maybe even glancing down the back hand exhale onto your back we're almost at the end of our class drawing both the knees in i want you to bring your hands around your feet and then we're settling the feet down onto the mat if you have a cushion maybe you want to position the cushion underneath your chest opening up the chest opening up the heart chakra Earlier on, we focused on the sacral, the, the root Muladhara Chakra, which is for security, groundedness. We're also needing the heart. So we're bringing awareness to the heart chakra, maybe positioning one hand on the pelvic area, one hand on the chest, and just sending love and energy. I am safe. I am protected. We release both the hands, staying with the cushion underneath your chest, or if you prefer, moving the cushion up towards your neck, coming to lie in Shavasana. If you have a blanket or a scarf or a towel, covering yourself. As you prepare to lie in stillness for the next few moments.
palms facing the ceiling, feet falling to the side. Allow your jaw to soften, your eyes to sink back. Just continue breathing like this for a few more seconds. Nice big inhale, gently raise your hands above you, stretch your feet away and as you exhale you can draw your knees up to the chest once again and rock from side to side, come to rest on your side and then we're gently pushing ourselves off the mat. And we're back where we started with cross legs arms together. I'm going to invite us to do a little chant for peace before we end with Om. Eyes closed. Inhale. As we exhale, we'll chant Om together. Inhale. to meet sometime soon.